Hello everyone, welcome to InfoSec Daily. Today I'll be discussing about the fast web fuzzer called FFUF. FFUF stands for Fuzz Faster You Fool, which is a fast web fuzzer that is written in Go. Today, in this video, I'll be discussing about some of the basic usages of FFUF, which will help make your fuzzing game stronger. Let us now discuss about some of the ways by which you can install FFUF in your system. So, what you can do is you can directly download a pre built binary from the releases page or you can also directly download it using go or you can also get it from the app repository so what i'll be doing is i'll be uh, downloading it using go so go get dash you github.com slash ffuf slash ffuf okay so now now that uh, ffuf has been compiled uh, let me go in my go directory uh, bin. so from here I'll copy the FFUF to my USSR, USR slash local slash bin folder for easier access Sorry about that. Okay, so FFUF has now been moved to uh, copied to USS slash local slash bin. So let us now test our installation. Okay, so FFUF has now been installed. Let us now see how we can do simple directory fuzzing using FFUF. Now FFUF depends on the word list you provide. I have prepared this sample word list called wordlist.txt which contains these words. Now if you want to use uh, a word list in real life scenario, I'll highly recommend you to check Seclist. I'll leave the link to Seclist in the description. Let's get back to fuzzing. Now for demonstration purposes, I'll be fuzzing for hidden directories on my own website. So FFUF-U, here you should provide your URL. So HTTPS, bavrochart.com slash. Now you'll need to use fuzz keyword for where you want FFUF to fuzz mm, the words in your word list. Now we'll provide our word list path, which is wordlist.txt. Let's see what happens. Okay, so FFUF found that there is a hidden directory called admin. Let us now see how we can do recursive fuzzing using FFUF. Recursion will help us get in depth and search for directories inside the directory FFUF finds. So let's see an example. So FFUF dash u my URL, uh, the first keyword, I'll supply in my word list. Now I'll use hyphen recursion to tell FFUF that we want to do a recursive scan. So let's see what happens. So FFUF found the directory called admin and then it started fuzzing inside the admin directory then it found the directory users then it started fuzzing inside the users directory then it found a directory called test and then uh, it started fuzzing inside the test directory but did not find anything else so so ffuf first found the admin directory started fuzzing in admin directory found users and then found the test directory now, if we don't want to go in such depth, we can uh, also define the depth that we want. For example, so now we'll provide a recursion depth. So hyphen recursion hyphen depth. Now let's see we want the depth to be 2. So let's see what happens. So 
so FFUF found the admin directory started fuzzing found users started fuzzing found test but since uh, we have set the recursion depth to 2 it did not fuzz inside the test directory you can see that directory found but recursion depth exceeded so this is how we can do a recursive scan using FFUF FFUF also allows us to pass extensions which will help us to find the files with a certain extension that we define. For example, let's see FFUF hyphen U our URL. Uh, let's find for files with PHP extension inside the admin directory. So admin our first keyword our word list. Now notice that I'll use this hyphen E argument to define the extension for the file I want. Now what this will do is it will add .php to all the words inside the word list and then fuzz for those files. So let's see what happens. Okay so you can see that it found test.php. Now we can also provide multiple extensions for example I want it to find .php and .txt. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now you can see that it started uh, fuzzing for .txt file and found admin.txt file inside the admin directory. And it also fuzzed for .php files and found test.php. So this is how we can tell FF to fuzz for certain extensions, which will then get added to the words inside our word list. FFUF also allows us to fuzz for post data. Now to fuzz for post data, what we'll need to do is FFUF-W, our word list, hyphen H is to provide our headers, required headers. So we can use hyphen H to provide headers and then our URL. And then uh, we are telling um, FFUF that we are adding a post data here now you the post data contains username equals admin and password equals fuzz so let's see what happens so it started fuzzing for passwords using our word list uh, using the words in the uh, word list.txt file so we are getting so many 403s now we can also filter the 403s using hyphen fc hyphen fc is used to filter the http uh, code so uh, now f uh, now 403 responses will be filtered out so let's see what we get okay so we got pass 123 status 200 so now we know that the value for password is pass 123 let's try it out So bevcha.com slash admin. So username equals admin and password equals pass123. Let's try to log in. Welcome admin. So we got logged in. So the password was correct. So that's it for this video. This video was fairly basic. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. We also have a subreddit where you can ask questions. The link to that will also be in the comments below. If you like this video and would like to see more such videos, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you.